This is officially vlog number one. Of like a consistent thing. Consistent thing. Yeah. So the way that we do this is we capture the content for the vlog and then we go back and watch it and fill in the holes. We're going to be cutting back and forth to us sitting here. One day, one day we'll have a couch. Insight. Yeah, one day we'll have a couch. <laughs> uh, we don't get into that in the video, but maybe next week's vlog. We're so, still moving in. Yeah. Give us a few weeks. So I hope you enjoy. Gabby. What are you doing up this early? Not living my best life. I love what you've done with the place. <laughs> Look at this two, we have a two seater living room. Do you like Gobby's table decor? That's on point right there. No, but really, what time is it right now? Way 5.30. What are we doing? We're going to Rhode Island. It's so early to process this. It's not that early. Clearly, Gobby's not a morning person like me. I am a morning person, but I'm not a 5.30. Are you smirking? That handsome guy right there. <laughs> the real reason people buy this. What is that? It's my better hand than garden. I know, let's see the cover. And what is it featuring? Me. I know, but what? Well, my dinner party menu of my dreams. One of them. And how you can throw it yourself? Yeah, it's a very easy guide to throwing a dinner party and you can prep everything ahead. So right here, for all you aspiring Instagrammers, Gabby teaches you how to put together the perfect Instagram story. Pay attention. This is what we do every trip we go on. I follow Gabby and I watch her take photos so she can do the perfect hotel tour on Insta stories. So I'm just bringing you guys along this time so you can kind of experience. It's an, it's an art form, you guys. We get to see Gabby's technique. Here's the key. You have a cocktail in one hand or a glass of champagne. Your phone in the other hand. You take all the pictures first and then you think about how you want to put the story together and edit it and post it like while you're laying in bed or something. So but if I do it all together, then I can make sure it's like consistent. So when Gabby and I usually get to our hotel room. Are you gonna make fun of me for unpacking? I'm gonna unpack today. I'm gonna unpack. Look at Gabby's just sitting there chilling on her phone. We're seeing her unpack. Meanwhile, Thomas, check this out. I've got my outfits. Shirts and pants already hung up, and hold on, suitcase is in the closet there. Not shaming me. I'm not shaming you. I'm just showing Gabby style versus Thomas style. I've got my outfit for tonight, and then. Wait, but what are you wearing tonight? The I've couch. got everything already unpacked and in the drawers. It's like I'm at home. In my defense, who forgot something in the hotel this time? Thomas forgot his swim shorts in a drawer. In a dresser drawer. The perk of never unpacking and just living out of your suitcase is you never forget That's anything. Stuff. So I rest my case. Ready to go? How do you approach a hotel? A lot of people are weirded out by unpacking into the into the uh, dressers because they say they're like bed bugs and stuff like that. I don't yeah. think there are bed bugs here. Well, we can hang things. Yeah. Don't make fun of me. What'd you get? I got the pan seared halibut with morels and peas. Brunello, got some mushrooms, and I got the steak. So if you look at this and you might think Gabby probably unpacked her suitcase, but if we take one, two, Three steps to the right, you can see she just transferred it out of her suitcase onto this nice little bench right here. I'm gonna do it tomorrow. Hashtag robe life. So what's in plan for today? Today we're going to have lunch, some cool new place I don't remember. I think it's called the Pond Inn or the Pond House. Pond House. We're gonna go ride our bikes. 
Kind of explain what this weekend is all about and um, how this works. Like you're doing asked to host a dinner, right? Yeah, I got asked to host a what Scott be cooking dinner on Thursday night. It's like a, they are gonna cook all recipes from my cookbook and pair it with local wine. So we flew out on Tuesday. We get to explore all day today and tomorrow and then tomorrow night. I think like 75 people are coming in for dinner. I'll have to give a speech. I'm terrified. I have no idea what I'll say. And then we all get to sit down and drink some wine and eat some food and hang out. It should be really fun. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to meeting everyone I didn't get to meet on my book tour because we didn't really do, we did one stop in Boston, but we didn't do much in New England for the book tour. Fancy seeing you here. So the Ocean House hooked us up with this sweet Mercedes convertible. Never really driven a convertible before, have you? No, but I'm ready for it. The car program at the property was pretty rad. Basically, it was just like they let you test drive a bunch of these Mercedes and... Apparently, there are a couple of hotels that do it Yeah. Um, across the country and Ocean House is one of them, but it's pretty rad. Yeah. Where we're at now is the sister property to the Ocean House. It's yeah. called the... We, we have in. We, they had us there for a lunch. <laughs> this, is, this was like probably my favorite meal. Over the, the winter, Ocean House had these gondolas that they brought in, or one gondola, and they had just a little like private dining room for two or four people in the gondola. Anyways, it was so popular, everyone loved it. They did something similar over at their sister property, right on the pond where they like fish for oysters and clams and all these kinds of things. So they came up with this idea to do the pond house. And Is it fish for oysters? Dive? No, it's not dive. because they're Shovel? Rake? Rake for oysters? I don't know. Rake for clams, you dive for oysters. I don't know. So they set up this like super cute little house. It's not even a house, it's like a... It's, she cut. A she cut. And the table, it's like Benihana, but grilling. Like, and so you get to grill your own seafood. They bring you oysters and lobster and shrimp, and you can pick stuff like not from the sea if you don't like seafood, and the best side dishes ever. And then it's all paired with champagne. Which was Thomas's yeah. jam. Cool. So we have some breads for you, which we've already warmed on the grill, but you're more than welcome to heat them up a little bit more, along with some herb-infused olive oil. And we have the oysters. What you doing there, Gabby? Really admiring that they give you floor to sell. <laughs> Contenting. Brand. You've got like a whole little setup over in I front of you. very on brand. You've got, you've got your oysters, I've you got, got a salad. Champagne. So, <laughs> this is the first business trip that I've been on with What's Gabby Cooking and we're here drinking. Because now Thomas is a full-time What's Gabby Cooking yes. partner. And we're here drinking champagne and eating oysters on a grill <laughs> in front of this. And it got me thinking. <laughs> After all these years when I was working in an office, is this what Gabby does on every trip? Not every trip. <laughs> it's not every trip. No, this it's is not every trip. This is this especially is special. special. Yeah. But you missed a couple things. I missed a couple things. <laughs> I, all right, some, some important work going on here. Gabby's got the scallops, the lobster tail, and... Shrimp. Shrimp? Yeah. I've got the uh, apron, but I'm clearly not doing anything, so... <laughs> very similar to how we cook at home. <laughs> so let's discuss this right here. I can't. <laughs> they give you, they give it to you like a hamburger no, no, no. or a sandwich. They give you a DIY yeah. strawberry shortcake. Those strawberries dessert. were so good. The strawberries were ridiculous, but. They were soaked in champagne, basil. And sugar. And sugar. Yeah. Like, They're really good. Cream. But Thomas Cream. Prime. Primo. Prime. made his strawberry shortcake and then like we were at the drive through of In-N-Out just took it straight to his face burger style which honestly I've never seen before and I took a video of it and posted it on my stories and people were impressed and baffled. <laughs> we're teaching Gabby how to punch it. Hit it Gabby. We're at a stoplight. I want to see you accelerating like a pro. Here. Go. I think that this next part, you can't see it, but if you listen closely, might be my favorite part of the video. Why? Just listen. Yeah. 
So we got back to the property and decided we were gonna do an afternoon of leisure activities. Yeah, like bike riding. So we did a little shuffleboard. Oh, we did that too. We did a little croquet. Little croquet. Mm -hmm. And then we went for a bike ride. It was seven minutes. <laughs> Decided to ride bikes. And like one minute into our bike ride, <laughs> Gabby stopped for a cookie. Which is fine by me, honestly, because look at this. See those legs? <laughs> Tom is a lobster. Got a little sunburn today. So, we're ready for dinner. My mom's gonna be mad at you. I'm a little red. The best part about traveling with Gabi is we get dressed up for dinner. Why is that the best part? One of the best parts, not the best part. Because I never get dressed up? Yeah, you're always in like yoga pants, but like so am I. Not yoga pants, but. <laughs> Alright, time for food. So, Gabi said to me this morning that she wants to eat a lobster roll with a sunshine background. And we'll find a place that looks sunny. It is dumping rain right now. When you decide to have lunch at 11.30. Don't judge me. <laughs> Gabby orders not only a lemonade, but a Shirley Temple as well. Gabby got a lobster roll. I would have to say that the lobster roll at the Ocean House was probably the best one that we had. No doubt. Out of all the, all the and we, and I mean, all of them were great, don't get me wrong, but the Ocean House had the best lobster roll. What are we getting? Lobster roll, number two of the day. <laughs> are we splitting or are we getting our own? I think we should split it because there's still one more ahead of us. All right. <laughs> Just sitting here by myself while Gabby is taking a photo of our lobster roll in natural light. Did you get it? You want to see it? Yeah, let's, let's see the natural light photo. That's the lobster roll from Ford's. All right, so just finished our lobster roll at Ford's in the rain. Oh, Gabby's, isn't that place cool? Like, look at it. Gabby's getting the photo and back to our hotel car. Check out the whip we got today. We got this AMG crossover, which is pretty badass. You can't really utilize it in the rain as much as you want, but still pretty cool. Did, did you get the shot? <laughs> You're not traveling with me anymore. Did you get the shot? Gabby got a brownie from the best bakery in America. Right yep. there. <laughs> Sif. And we're in Mystic. Gabby was trying to tell me that this is the song End of the Mystic that Van Morrison was playing. <laughs> and I researched it and that was entirely incorrect. So It made sense in my mind. <laughs> So we had lobster rolls and clam chowder for breakfast. And then as a snack, we had another lobster roll. And, and then, then as brownies. a and then as a snack for our snack, brownies. we got a brownie. And now as we're gonna have ice cream. We're gonna get ready to have some ice cream. <laughs> I got it. Stop you got touching it? me. Right. Why are we why are we doing that? Because Thomas doesn't like eating out of a cone because it drips on his hands, but I have to have a cone for the snack. You ready for your event? I'm ready. We've never done this angle before. All right, game time. Bobby. Yeah, babe. Elevator selfie. Oh no. So this is where it's happening. There's the star of the show. So how did like the order of events go for the evening? Not jumping into the detail of it, just like the order of events. Uh, we had a happy hour and order past hors d'oeuvres downstairs. We went upstairs, we had a three course meal, and then we ended the night in the bar. In the bar. With a lot of people that stuck around. So the cool thing about this was that with the happy hour in the cellar, sit down and talk with all of your fans. Yeah, and it was cool because when we do book signings, I have like a minute or two with everyone because there's a line. 
But with this, I feel like, Spend a little I felt bit like of time honestly, with everybody. I felt like it was a wedding. Like I didn't even sit down for dinner. Yeah. I got up and just like went from table to table to meet everyone because it was yeah. so much fun. But it was great meeting everyone. Yeah, too. it was super cool. I got to meet everyone. Yeah, and it was fun. <laughs> Game changers. Everything. And they use rose uh, strawberries, which are like really, really, really light pink. Like you can see in this photo, there's almost no red to them. I thought they were just white strawberries. No, pink strawberries? They were pink. They were, I think yeah. they were called rose strawberries. Okay. We basically asked the hotel to do a favor. I asked for a lobster roll for, for breakfast. breakfast. <laughs> and so they said be there at 10? 9. 9. So we were there at 8.45. And not only did they have a lobster roll ready they with the most a, beautiful They had claw great meat, claw meat on there. It was but very sexy. There was also the most amazing scallops. Probably the best scallops I've ever had. Ever, 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 ever. The scallops were so bomb. And I was like, They're we don't perfect. need the scallops for breakfast. It's fine. They're like, well, we already made them. And I was like, okay, fine, we'll eat them. They were amazing. Yeah. And I know earlier I said my favorite thing from this video was Gabi singing the Jay-Z song. I actually take that back. Oh God, I forgot this was This next favorite. part is my favorite part of the video. So what is this, day three or four? Four. Day four in New England and the uh, lobster rolls. For breakfast. For breakfast, continue. It's not even 9 a.m. Scallops, which, <laughs> look at these things. These are on point. And then look how beautiful look that, that lobster claw is. Meat. The claw meat's on point. It's yeah. where the claw meat's the most flavorful. So, Just ask for that. So Gabi did somehow make the skies turn blue. <laughs> well, that's a good bite. Mm. Did it get on your pants? Locked her down. No. Five second roll. Yeah, she just did that. <laughs> Are you gonna eat it now? Fuck yeah. Nice. But anyway, like some lobster <laughs> water, that's amazing that you just did that. I'll get another one. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you did that. It was like $3 of lobster that I just dropped on the floor. You can't just let it go to waste. And like in your defense, it did rain the night before. So like <laughs> floors were a little clean, but I, I, I've, never, I've never seen the move of somebody picking it up off the floor and dipping it in the water to clean it. It was a, just a, it was just a gut reaction. Had we not been in such a nice property, probably wouldn't have done it. But I couldn't let it go to waste. Just got into Boston. Quick meeting before we catch our flight home. Never not working. Never not working. Let's see if it happens. Bob Stroll number 12. So Lost after roll number one million. Twelve, I think, actually, but whatever. Yeah. It was we had to have one more before we hit the road. And we had a meeting to do. We had some people to catch up with in Boston. It's a good way to end the trip. It was. And then we got back on the plane and I'm ninety five percent lobster now. Yeah. But not you. Your face no. is really I've I'm past the sunburn, although my legs are starting to peel yeah. now. Um so <laughs> <laughs> Make sure to like wear and sunscreen. subscribe below. And wear sunscreen. And wear sunscreen. <laughs> but yeah, we're looking to do these once a week, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. And... Oh, the vlogs? Yeah. Yeah, but the next one's gonna be like safari, right? Uh, well, I'm gonna work on that, but we'll have, a, we'll have vlogs between then. Okay, yeah. but, but there's safari coming and I'm very excited to relive our safari trip. Yeah, that's gonna be tough. Anyway, like and subscribe below. See you later.